John Kasich continues to poll well in New Hampshire. He is first among Republican candidates not named Donald Trump. And while Mike Huckabee and Ted Cruz traveled to Kentucky to rally in support of a county clerk who refused to marry gay couples, John Kasich took a different path. Now, I respect the fact that this lady doesn't agree, but she's also a government employee. She's not running a church. I wouldn't force this on a church, but in terms of her responsibility, I think she has to, she has to comply. I, I, don't think, I don't like the fact that she's sitting in a jail. That's just absurd as well. Uh, but I think she should follow the law. Of course, Kim Davis was released from jail this week. Mark Weaver, does that stance really hurt him badly among conservative voters in GOP primaries? I don't think so. I think he's navigated this pretty well. He's pointing out that she shouldn't be in jail. It's a ridiculous thing to go over jail on. But he's also pointing out that if you're going to be a government official, you need to do what the government official is supposed to do. Even Jesus said, render under Caesar what is Caesar and render under God what is God's. And so Kasich so far has cast himself as somebody who's uh, a man of faith, but also a man of being practicality. And for a lot of conservatives, that's very attractive. But for evangelical voters right. in Iowa, not that he's worried about Iowa too much. Yeah, I don't think he is. He's focused on New Hampshire. That's yeah. clearly their strategy. But evangelicals will come into play in South Carolina. Does that yeah, and I mean, but, Medicaid but, expansion again, and that kind of stuff? You know, people say, well, the women's vote, women think a certain way. Well, actually, women think lots of ways. And evangelicals, surprisingly, think lots of ways. And some of them care about jobs more than they care about abortion or gay rights well, or something like that. Well, there's like definitely that. a contra contra contrast, though. Um, you've got Mike Huckabee uh, on, on one hand, That's and you've true. got the John Kasichs of the world. That's it's true. not as if he's operating in a vacuum. True. So when you go to South Carolina, if he's still up, you know, going up against people like Huckabee, I think he could be in trouble um, mm -hmm. if there's an alternative and voters are committed to voting their heart on that issue. Yeah, but you know, the contrast to me is it's John Kasich and most of the other Republicans. And I think John is running a spectacular campaign. Uh -huh. uh, and I think he's trying to position himself in ways that will be so advantageous for the Republican Party and would actually be very advantageous for the country in terms of the prospects for governing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I shudder at some of the other Republican candidates who are still talking about doing what? Tearing down things, destroying things. And here's the governor, our governor, talking about working together, trying to find solutions and things like that. And that is of appeal to the New Hampshire voters. Mm -hmm. I would assume that there are actually more Republicans out there that once they begin to hear that will say, this guy is prepared to govern. The other candidates are prepared to campaign and attack each other. You know, he's been very careful about not getting into the attack game. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's going to happen when uh, Jeb Bush really starts airing ads in New yeah. Hampshire, and if yeah. that's going to tear down the support that Kasich has built over the last couple well, of weeks. But if, but if he does, that's going to be a demonstration, really, of the weakness of the Bush campaign and how much John Kasich has accomplished in New Hampshire. Well, he spent and the million, long the, John Kasich has spent in his pack has mm -hmm. spent four million dollars in TV advertising and basically has had the airwaves to himself for right. at least a month. So yeah. Mark, the numbers does that, make sense. Does that, eventually that's going to even out, it even is. if they're it, not it, attacking it's the strategy. He's got some really smart people helping him. Matt yeah. Carl, a good friend of mine, Beth Hansen. These are some of the best strategists in the state and in the country. Their plan is when the Donald Trump flavor of the season is mm. gone, mm. who will be left as somebody that Republicans can look to and say, he's my guy, and they want to be that guy. Are you yeah. sure that's going to happen? We've been saying that now forever for two months, but, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> who normally knows? shame drives people out of <laughs> yeah. races, you know. but when you lack shame, <laughs> when, 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 when other when factors will have to get to out of the race. When the 20s and now to the 30s, <laughs> yeah. you, you begin to who get old. <laughs> yes, yeah. This is the final thing that's going to kick him out of the race and his poll numbers go up. Uh, Karen, um, you did a story this week about John Kasich being on the campaign trail, obviously then not at the State House governing Ohio. Who is governing Ohio? He says he is. And that's an answer actually that uh, Scott Walker says in Wisconsin as well, that there are these things called cell phones and telephones and, and that he can do what he needs to do even from the campaign trail. And so I, I, it was an interesting answer to ask that and get me. I'm running the state. Um, but I guess legally, and maybe Mark can address this, the, he is the person in charge of the state. That The lieutenant governor is not in charge. In New Jersey, the lieutenant governor is in charge when the governor is gone. Sure. But in Ohio, the lieutenant governor is only in a ceremonial role when he's not here, and that's kind of what she's been doing. But uh, he says he's still doing the job. And, you know, the legislature has been off for summer break, so there hasn't been a whole lot to do in that regard. And you know, it might be good news. Maybe they don't have to work full time at this. Yeah. So if they, they have, can do it. So they have to get paid full time then. With, if yeah. all they need mm -hmm. is some electronic equipment, 
Remember, right. Governor Kasich waited to announce right. until after the state budget was passed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And a lot of people were criticizing him. Why are you waiting so long? And he said, no, we're, we, we're in the budget process. A lot of other candidates who are incumbents start a lot earlier. So you, you don't want to, I think you give him some credit for that. And look, states continue to work, universities continue to yeah, operate. Yeah, that's I mean, where I am. Yeah, yeah. 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 We have the storybook notion of the president runs the country. Not no. really. Yeah. The governor runs the state. Not so much. <laughs> Study government. <laughs> See about all the managers and all the departments yeah, yeah, that yeah. move yeah. forward and things yeah. move just fine without the person at the top being in their world every five Okay, minutes. so let me run this scenario. We have a, a senior manager at the Ohio Department of Education who's got a great staff she or he decides to run for office. Does he or she get three months off? Running, doing it to, by phone. To, to, to run for well, office. Well, under Ohio law, phone. if you're an elected official, yeah. you are what's called the appointing authority, which means there's nobody who signs your timesheets. Okay. Everybody else below the elected officials, someone must sign the timesheet. Mm -hmm. When I was deputy attorney general, attorney general made sure that I worked 40 hours a week. Nobody was signing her timesheet because she didn't have one. You simply must be on the job. I think it's one day every three months Whoa. to be able to be paid. Uh, mm -hmm. And so nobody is the boss of an elected official other than, of course, the voters. Which is why it's called running from cover, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, they are truly running from cover. The laws protect them. And this is nothing new. Governors, Every, senators, yeah. everybody, uh, Congress any, people, any they run of. all the time. Yeah. And these the stories time. come up yep. whenever a sitting. Mm -hmm. So voters don't really care, it doesn't seem like. They, they, they accept it, it. They yeah. maybe yeah. even well, endorse it. Well, it depends on if they're, if they're for Kasich, they expect it. That's if they're true. against if Kasich, they're they don't yeah. like it. Then they want to know what's going on. Yeah, and I, yeah, yeah. I remember when Mike Dukakis came back to Massachusetts after losing the race for the presidency, people were pretty mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> because the they, they had to raise taxes, the economy was in the dumps, and his, he didn't fare so well afterwards. But mm -hmm. they were all for him when he was running. <laughs>